three markets within four days. Bit of a dilemma. Disgusting. I'm absolutely scramble egged. This could have been a major disaster. That's a bit awkward. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose. And I just realised that's open and it's annoying me. <laughs> and I make and sell scrunchies, macrame, home decor, glassware and a huge bunch of goodies like that. And in today's video, I actually have three markets within four days, which I am exceptionally excited about, but I'm also very, very nervous because it's a lot of work. It's currently Wednesday the 13th of March. I have the Craft and Flea in Nottingham on Saturday, which I love those events. It's really good. It was one of my first events with the Craft and Flea. I've done Nottingham, then I did Lincoln and now I'm doing Nottingham again. And I'm really, really hoping it's gonna be a good event. Then on the Sunday, I've got one of my local monthly events, which is the Bourne Farmers Market. I did last month, which was the first one of the year. So February, March, I think I'm gonna skip April and then I'm gonna do May. And then Monday, we've not got any plans apart from catching up on sleep, trying to see what inventory we've got left and what stock I need to sort out. And then on the Tuesday, we are heading back to Lincoln, but not for the Craft and Flea this time. It's in the same venue, but it's for the SU, so the student run campus thing. It's like an evening market, which I'm really, really excited about. So we've got a lot to do. I have been working away over the last few days. I spent the weekend and visiting my family which was absolutely amazing so I did a little bit of fabric shopping while I was there. My Fauna Rose family members have seen some of the fabric that I've picked up already. If you don't know what I'm talking about it's kind of similar to Patreon but it's on my buy me a coffee page so I've got three different tiers so you can pay for each of those tiers and get heaps of extra content and I can't remember who I last shouted out but I just want to mention Julia, Lindsay, Jackie and Henriette. Thank you guys so so much for joining the tiers. Hopefully you guys really enjoy all the extra content and I'm so grateful you've joined the family memberships which yeah I'm really really excited about so thank you guys so much but I have just finished off a bunch of mystery scrunchies that I have been working on. I've got a few designs here so I've got a bunch of this blue one so it's like this little fun floral print and then I have the same fabric in this yellow colour and I've got this beautiful lilac floral. Then I bought some more of this, which I've bought in the past and I've had mystery scrunchies out of this fabric before. But this is all from Backstock Remnants leftover fabric. So the fabric store that I went to, they have this big bin of remnants from when people have taken certain amounts of the fabric and they've got smaller pieces left. So saved it from a landfill because we don't like waste here. And that's what my mystery scrunchies are. So if you're new here and you don't know what I'm on about, I use a bunch of leftover scrap fabric and stuff to make mystery scrunchies pack so you don't know what's in them they're only two pounds they don't have my logo labels in them like my normal scrunchies do and it's just a way to help cut down waste stop fabric ending up in a landfill and stuff so this is what i make out of them i've got 26 an extra 26 well i can't speak an extra 26 scrunchies there sorry if my camera was shaking then i've also had a bunch of new designs arrive for cups and for motel keychains i've had to order some more keychains because some of the designs don't quite suit the keychains i had i got a restock of this one because it's been quite popular so it says i'm pretty cool but i cry a lot we've got this new one which says under caffeinated and overstimulated which is an absolute mood so they're all double-sided and then i will show you the rest of the designs again my family members have already seen all these they get first looks at everything i haven't 100 percent decided what color these are going on i think most of them will either be going on black and white just because they suit that better but this one says bit of a mess but doing my best which is similar colors to the other two and i got this one which i love this is something that i relate to i say this all the time it's fine i'm fine everything's fine it's fine <laughs> then this one says crazy plant lady and then finally we've got keys to the shit show so that is all the new keychain designs so i'm just waiting on the actual keychains to arrive so i can finish the rest of those off and then we've got a few new cup designs i feel like I might have shown these in the last video I can't remember but we've got the fries before guys cup 
and we've got a few other designs but they're all packed away the main thing i'm going to be focusing on now is my scrunchies which is one of my main sellers i've got to get as many scrunchies done as possible so let's start by getting all of these mystery scrunchies parceled up <laughs> had my stamp out i've just stamped some bags i've made more mystery crunchy bags as well for the future just to be on top of things these are going to be packed into the market stock stuff and i think i'm going to do some cups quickly because all those mystery scrunchies are all done i'm going to do so this is like a plant one that's arrived so i can do that one this is the new butterfly moth design sort of celestial vibe it's really cute the mushroom one is really popular luckily i managed to get them in stock because i couldn't get them at all and i sold my last one to the lovely jess from badger and beaver at the last market we did and then luckily that night after i told her i couldn't get the design anymore i double checked again and they were there so i picked up quite a few so i'm gonna get a bunch of those made up and then i'm gonna do some more of the new smaller designs so this is the one i showed you before the brides before guys and then this is the cherry design with the checkerboard it says feeling lucky and then i think that may be a good amount so i'm gonna do two of the mushroom designs one more of the monstera one which is this really cute hawaiian-y sort of vibe one one more of the celestial moths one more of the feeling lucky and one more of the fries before guys actually i've already got two of that one i might do another one of that one actually or do i oh i don't know what should i do one two three four five six <laughs> Let's get some scrunchies sewn up. I've got a lot to do, but I'm going to do this print, this one, and I think this is potentially just going to be a market exclusive scrunchie. I've got quite a few market exclusive prints to do. Let's just start. Let's just at least make a dent into it. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, it's quarter to two. I'm going to take these off because they really hurt in my ears. I have sewn four of the Miley's up, which are the little smiley face ones in the minis. I'm having a brain fart on what this one's called. Why can't I remember the name? I very sadly can't get this fabric anymore, which is really sad because it's been very, very popular. It's the Belinda. That's the one. I've done it two Belinda minis. I think this is the last of the fabrics. I don't think there's going to be any more after this, which is very sad. And then I've done four XLs. It's just a really cute fabric, isn't it? And then I've done a bunch of this sort of like celestial one. It's like a brownie grey colour with yellow, orange and white celestial print on it. It's really cool. So I've done like seven of these. I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is a little bit croaky. So I do apologise. So that's all the sewing I've done so far. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to package up an order I have received, which I'm very, very grateful for. It's from the lovely Diane. Thank you so much, Diane. Diane is one of my lovely Fauna Rose family members. So I am very grateful. And Diane has ordered a couple of the velvet scrunchies so the alia xl and the alia mini Ugh. bit of a dilemma i only have an xl left <sighs> great i don't know how that's happened oh no how has that happened i swear to god if my website has changed them to back order i am not going to be happy i don't want to let my customers down i was starting to beat myself up a bit then because <laughs> i thought i've been so on top of things like this and making sure my stock was right and i'd really made an effort so i started to blame myself but then i've gone through my market stock from the last event and what people have ordered and stuff and double checked my stock and they were out of stock i'd sold all of them so there's definitely an error on my website somehow which is so fun so i am so sorry diane i feel awful i've had to obviously email her and just say i'm so sorry i'm really annoyed like i don't like mistakes like that and that's why i've been really focusing on making sure that everything's right in that term so that's infuriating what i'm going to do because obviously i can't package that order up until i know what diane would like to do i'm going to do some more sewing so these <laughs> look at all this fabric here this is more market exclusive fabric so some of these are wristlets i have so many wristlets i need to make but i've just been putting it off because they just take so long there's so many steps to them so i've got this orangey print and then this beautiful sort of like vintage floral so let's get some of these sewn up while i've got the white already on there <laughs> Good morning guys, I've just had a really exciting parcel arrive. Unfortunately, I can't show you yet. Well, I could, but my family members are gonna be the first to see it. But I've just unboxed it and I'm really excited. So a bonus video of me unboxing that will be on the Fornative, the family members. But where we're up to, so I've finished making these this morning, which I love. I think these are absolutely beautiful. They're like this vintage floral print. And we also have these ones as well. It's like a floral tie-dye print. It's really, really cute. So it's like orange, red, bluey green. So I've got a few of those. These are all finished, but these need the finishing seam doing. So I'm gonna do that very, very quickly now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all my scrunchies in my market stock and separate them into patterns, separate them into satins, and then actually count everything and see what I actually need to make because I'm very quickly running out of time. So this is how we're looking. I got another set of these so they come in a set of three but i've got the satin scrunches in here and these are the ones that go straight on the table so the display table ones this is the back stocks so this is a mix of all the patterns and the satins that'll go behind the table and then the pattern ones that are going to go straight on the table so that's all those i've been through this is like one of my old stock lists so i've been through and written like how much i have of each and i've got loads to make so i've just been through my stash and luckily on my list there are a few items that are already on their way to being done so i needed lauren minis so i'm gonna do these four here i needed a bunch of the paloma xls and minis i've only got one xl so i'm gonna have to get some more fabric for this but i do have a bunch of mini tubes as well so i'm gonna do four of those and i do have a bunch more already made up waiting to go so i'm just gonna do four for now and then here's some that are already pre-cut so I can get all these sewn up and then we'll just have to go from there. I 
I'm stressing a little bit because I need to leave for work soon. I've still got loads to do, but I've just sewn up a bunch of Miley XLs and minis. Then I've done Nova minis. I was going to finish them up, start adding elastic, but I thought I can do that tonight when it's quiet and use the time to sew. And then I've just started doing a bunch of the pennies, which are these ones, so they're all ready to go. But I very, very, very kindly... No, I didn't kindly do it. Shirley very kindly placed an order. So I need to get that packaged up so I can get to the post office before I need to go to work. So I'm not going to film it, but I am going to quickly show you what Shirley very kindly picked up. We've got one of the I'm Pretty Cool But I Cry A Lot Motel keychains. And we've got a Miley set. So we've got the XL and the Mini, which is this really fun smiley face print on this sky blue fabric, as well as a mystery scrunchie. So Shirley, thank you so, so much. You also landed on a freebie. So I will throw in a freebie as well. So let's get that parceled up, get to the post office. I've got to squeeze in a bit of housework actually. Then go to work and deep breathe. Ugh. Hello guys. I'm so sorry I haven't filmed anything. I'm surrounded by an absolute disaster zone and I've been very stressed and I've just been trying to crack on because I'm very underprepared for these markets. This is what I have done. This is what I have been working on. So we've got a mix of pattern fabrics. We've got some of the ribbed fabrics. We've got a bunch of satins. So I think I'm done. <laughs> I think and I really hope I'm done. I want to just get it all packed and try and clean up a bit before I have to go to work but this is like an old stock list. Alex is going to sort the new ones out. I have sat and made them all up this morning and he's going to print them off for me so when he comes back I can just swap everything over and then it's just the rest of the things that need packing so like my cups keychains macrame things like that once again i haven't had time to make wristlets <laughs> these are all the motel keychains that i have so far and then these are all the designs that still need adding the next lot of keychains are due to arrive today i really hope they come if not there's still a massive amount in here it's completely fine but it'd be cool to get some of the new ones out i'm feeling a little bit under the weather i'm very stressed there's quite a few things going on not fauna rose related as well as loads of the creative makers market stuff i'm just all over the place at the minute and I don't really have time to be.
so it's currently monday it's 5 to 11 and we've been taking it a little bit easy today but also cracking on at the same time because both alex and i are a little bit under the weather i've struggled a little bit this weekend and now alex isn't feeling great but i just want to very quickly talk about the market so the craft and flea was amazing i haven't officially looked through everything yet and had a proper reflection on past markets and then that one but i think that was possibly our best event that we've ever done it was really good for us and then yesterday apart from not feeling great we had a really good day at the farmer's market as well it was quiet towards the end and wasn't the busiest throughout it's still quite a lot of people there but we ended up having a really good day there again but we also now don't have that much stock but i've gone through and pinched a few scrunchies from the online stock because like i said i've closed my website just so i'm not doing way too much and struggling to keep on top of things i don't have a massive massive amount to make in comparison to what i thought i needed to make but they're still quite a lot of items there luckily most of it is already pre-cut there's some things that i'm completely out of stock on fabric wise so i need to do an order of some things so i need to crack on with those but i've just been organizing a few things as well because i've mentioned multiple times this office is disgusting it's so bad so i've been starting to organize a few things so i've got pre-cut strips for wristlets which i just haven't had time to do recently pre-cut strips for satin minis oh i've not done this one yet <laughs> this is lycra and bandex stretchy type fabric pre-cut strips other fabric pre-cut strips are mostly cottons then in here we've got xl pre-cut strips that's not been folded properly i think i'm going to do a bit of tidying because i need to be able to actually get to my sewing machine but there's so much rubbish on my desk i can't and then we're gonna see how many scrunchies we can get sewn up and ready for the final market of march tomorrow look at my hair <laughs> just throwing it up i'm having a quick break and i'm having the best cupcakes ever cakes for chocolates Teresa who owns it amazing Teresa, if you watch this we were talking about this yesterday at the market i'm such a gremlin and i make a mess when i eat these cupcakes so i've been smart and i'm doing what your other half does using a fork <laughs> and it's so good it's a lotus biscoff one. Oh my god honestly she makes the best cakes what did i have yesterday i had a twix one and it was chocolate cake and it had like a biscuit base like a cheesecake oh my god it had caramel in the middle if you're ever in the lincolnshire area or if you want to check out her instagram or facebook to see where she is where she does events and stuff oh my god you have to try them I completely forgot that they were going to cut the power today for hopefully only about an hour so as soon as i saw the work guys outside i was like oh my god so i've just been stress sewing a bunch of scrunchy tubes up to try and get some done before the power went off and i was midway through some of the jess scrunchies and it's just been cut off but this is what i've done so far so i've got a bunch of tubes good to go which is fine so while the power's off i'm going to quickly put all of the threads turn them inside out and then add the elastic so then when the power's back on i can hopefully get them sewn up i'd say i'm about halfway through through to be fair which isn't bad at all for the scrunchies i do need to do some cups but i need my silhouette for that and i definitely didn't want to start that cutting off some vinyl and then midway through the power go off because we didn't know exactly when the power was going to go off so i can do all that this evening but alex and i also need to pop out and do a few errands and stuff but hopefully i should be okay getting some stuff done i just really hope the cups arrive on time because i am waiting for a delivery of cups <laughs>
the last of them. I'm so sorry if the lighting isn't great by the way, but it is. Eight minutes to six and I was hoping to be done by six, which is good. So I just need to cut the threads off these last ones. That is a huge amount of scrunchies restocked in time for tomorrow. I do still have a few more to make and that is the Audrey and the Miss Daisy. I obviously haven't cut the fabric yet. So I think I'm gonna leave that till tomorrow because I do still have tomorrow. We don't need to leave till later on in the afternoon, which is good because it is an evening market and it's only three hours. So hopefully it won't be too bad. I have no idea what it's gonna be like because as far as I'm aware, it's for students. I don't know if it's open to the general public. It's a tough one because students are kind of the right target audience for us, but also students are skint, you know? <laughs> students are rolling around with money. They're trying to pay their bills and just get their degree over with. So I'm not really sure if it will be amazing in terms of sales. I've no idea, but I'm looking forward to it. I might make a couple of cups this evening. I'm not really sure. I need to stamp some bags, repack a few things, but I'm really lagging. I'm struggling. I'm tired <laughs> and I want to stop. I've got to go make dinner. Obviously home. We did it. Three markets in four days. I'm absolutely scramble egged, but we had an amazing few days. I did stop talking about what we actually made at markets, not for any particular reason, but I think someone mentioned recently about me mentioning that again. So I don't know off the top of my head, I'll have to sit and do my numbers, but we do know that over the last three days, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, this is just to let people know, we took over a thousand pounds, which is it just doesn't feel real. I know to some people that might be nothing, but to us that is insane. <laughs> like absolutely insane. Honestly can't believe it. Thank you so much to anyone that came out tonight. We were at the Lincoln student event and it was only a student event. It was great, it was only three hours. Got to see the lovely Sophie from Matilda and me. Picked up something, treat myself. It was amazing. There was performances going on. The organizers were amazing. We did have a little bit of a hiccup at the start, which I will talk about tomorrow, but yeah, it was great. Sold out of nearly all the cups. Loads of the keychains are sold out. Barely got any scrunchies. I'm absolutely blown away. So thank you guys so much to anyone that bought anything and supported us. I'm absolutely mind blown. But I just want to quickly show you something that I bought from Sophie. I didn't even realise she put the tea light in. Hey, hey, a little freebie tea light, but she started doing a bunch of amazing things. So she specifies in like clay jewelry, which is really cool. It's very retro, I love it. But she also does scrunchies, she does jasmine eye, she started doing crochet, loads of amazing goodies. And I picked up this sort of greeny blue jasmine eye marble candle holder. It's gorgeous, I love it so much. I've been eyeing up her moon dishes. And there's a green one, cause she came to our event well, she's been to both of our events actually and she will be coming to the next one. She had this sage green moon dish and I was considering treating myself to it but it sold which is amazing for her but I was like damn it. So she might be making some more for the next fair but how cool is this? The quality is so cool. It says Matilda and me, it's got this lovely cork bottom so it's not going to scratch anything and I can either use it as a candle holder or I was considering potentially using this to put like a little mini cacti in it. I'm not really sure yet. Plenty of things I could do with it. It's really really cute so I had to pick 
pick that up. I've got a pig and an egg running around. So yeah, I will chat tomorrow and end the vlog, give my thoughts about the weekend, but I'm absolutely shattered. An amazing few days. I am so grateful to stop climbing on everything. And yeah, I can't thank everyone enough. So yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning guys. So I'm going to very quickly talk about the events that we have just done. Once again, if anyone popped over, said hi, bought anything like that. Thank you guys so much. I am so blown away by how incredible those events were. So the first one we had was the Craft and Flea in Nottingham. My first Craft and Flea event was also in Nottingham. They're quite hard events to get into because they always switch up the makers, they get a huge amount of applications and they're all over the UK and stuff but if you are in the UK and there's one somewhat near you I'd always recommend applying for their events because they are incredible. But we had an amazing day there. Not everyone seemed to have a good day there. It was raining and it was quiet towards the end but I think it was our best day because because our last best day was the Lincoln Craft and Flea. This one topped it. I think I mentioned I have had some people interested in how much we take and if I can still talk about money and stuff. I don't always like to do that anymore. I don't know why. It's just not something that I always overly share. But I will leave on screen what we took though. It was a £55 market. That's kind of standard for their events. And then we bought dinner and the parking. So that was about £30. So after our deductions, this is what we took. It was mind-blowing it was insane and then we popped over to alex's family and had a quick evening chill with them which was great and on the sunday we had born at farmers market which is our local farmers market we are not doing next month but we will be back in may just because i want to break it up a little bit i don't want to overdo it every single month and be there all the time because i don't know if that's going to be boring for the market goers the people that are actually attending so we're going to take a break from that next month but it was paddy's day so a lot of people were out the night before people might have been very hungover so i wasn't expecting this to be that great however we had another really good day there it's always lovely to see all the other stall holders and all our lovely regular customers and market goers we got to hand out a bunch of our leaflets for the creative makers market because it's in the same town this has gone up again in price i think this time it was £25 but the next one is £26. We had to buy some cakes from Teresa because she was across the way from us. She owns cakes which are colics. I'm pretty sure I mentioned or showed the cakes at some point but that was like a little £10 deduction. So this is roughly like what we took. So another really good day for our local event and then on Tuesday, the Lincoln Day, again no idea what to expect on this day. This could have been a major disaster however thank god we had an incredible evening i'll very quickly talk about it so we were running a bit late and after the little bit of a blip at the start we only had about 30 minutes to set up maybe even less than that but we did it smashed it very proud of us the organizers amazing everything was very well organized the lady who was in charge was absolutely lovely and so accommodating and i am so grateful for her but we got there we started setting up we saw the lovely sophie from matilda and me and she came in matilda her camper van which we were so excited to see because we're huge camper van fans and one day we will own one <laughs> but we started setting up and Alex was getting everything out of the car and because the table was provided I instantly started getting things out and I noticed the person facing us was popping out items similar to what we make and I was like oh that's fine like it happens it was just one item and then I noticed they had a pegboard I was like oh I wonder what that's gonna be and then I saw it was scrunchies and I was like oh okay Oh no, <laughs> that's a bit awkward. So I said to Alex, oh, they've also got scrunchies as well as cups that we make. I was like, but it's fine, like this stuff happens. Carried on setting up and then I saw they had macrame and I was like, oh, sh Every item they were getting out, we also did. So I thought, oh no, God, like I don't know what to do. I didn't want to start getting my stuff out. I started panicking a little bit, but I was like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But Alex was like, no, it's not. This is a business. We need to think about these things. So he did approach the organizers and just said, I'm really sorry, but is there any chance that we could move? Because it's not good for us. It's not good for them if you li Cleo, I'd like to keep that carpet, please. As I was saying, sorry, it wouldn't have been good business side for both of us to be selling the exact same things. Serves me right for creating items that are very oversaturated, but the organisers were very kind and they did say not everyone is always as honest about what they sell and they don't always say exactly everything they're going to bring on the replication form, so they were unaware. And they very kindly offered us multiple places, which was great. And one of those places was right by the door. We weren't going to turn that down. They very kindly helped us quickly move our stuff over and then we just smashed out setting up and we ended up having an amazing day so students i understand 
the broke life. I get it. Struggling students. I get it. So I am so grateful that you chose to spend your student loans on my small business. So it was just great. So fingers crossed they will have us back. I hated causing a scene and having to move and I don't like being an inconvenience but it was better for both businesses I think in my opinion because it's just awkward, isn't it? If you're facing someone who sells the exact same items as you. Hopefully they'll have us back because it was great. We loved it. The organizers were fab. So an amazing few days. I'm still very, very shocked. And even though those numbers sound absolutely amazing, which they are, and I'm so grateful for them, that's not taking away and factoring in the cost of everything to how much to make everything. That is literally just like what we took on the night. So I'm probably gonna have to spend about 80% of that now on restocking stuff. And I've got a lot to make, but I am so grateful. So guys, thank Thank you so much for watching i'm sorry if this was a bit chaotic but i am very grateful for you all if you could give it a massive thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you aren't all the social media and the website for fauna rose is linked down below so if you want to head on over there and check it out feel free all the membership information is down there as well so if you want to get heaps of extra content and join some membership tiers feel free to check that out as well but apart from that i best crack on and get on with all the restocking i've got to do but i'll catch you guys in my next one bye <music>